linear regression. On your screen, you'll be able to choose a preset sample data or choose and make your own data points and find out the correlation between your data and the best fit line. We are going to discuss all of these points in a second. Let's start by choosing one of the available examples of a data set. So here we have multiple examples. Let's choose the height versus shoe size example. Looking at the data points, you will notice a pattern that the higher the shoe size is, the higher the height. Let's press on the best fit line option, which is this one. You will see a line that is drawn through the data points. This line is called the best fit line. Best fit line is basically trying to find the line that approximates the relation between the two variables, as you can see here. The line that you see is basically the approximate and predicted value of the variable. So from this graph, we can tell what will be the height based on the shoe size uh, on, let's say, 4. If the shoe size is 4, from the graph, if we have, let's choose the grid to make it more visually uh, uh, better so from here at 4 shoe size 4 we can find out that it's approximately 55 the height this is using the graph now from this line we found out that it is represented with this equation you see here y equals um, 1.8x plus 50.4 so if we put 4 instead of x here we will find out the value of y that corresponds to the value of x X here represents the shoe size and Y the height. Let's now press on the correlation coefficient. Here you will see a number which is 0 0.85. What does this number represent? In simple terms, correlation coefficient is a number that measures the relationship between two variables. The more close it is to one, it means it is proportionally related. And the closer the number to minus 1 means that there is a high inversely proportional relationship. In our case, the number is 0 0.85, which means basically that if the shoe size increased, the height will increase correspondingly. The further the real data points from the line, the higher the error. This error is called the residual. You can click here to see the residual, and you can see it from the graph as a line between the dot or the point and the best fit line. So the more the error, the more the residual line is. In this activity, you can also make your own data. So you can use custom mode, and then you can drag your own data points. Because we turned on the residual and best fit line, while adding the data points, you can see how the best fit line is changing by adding different data points at different positions. So I want you to try that using a, a data set by putting the data uh, you have in the graph and figure out what is the best fit line for your own data.